Good afternoon, everybody on Educated Economist here. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers who have come to the channel. There's been quite a few of you recently, and I really appreciate you joining in on the conversation and all the thumbs up and everything that you guys are doing for the channel. I really appreciate the, uh, you know, you guys being here. I really do. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to bring up, and if you're not familiar with it, is credible threats. Now, this is something that we talked about quite a bit on this channel a while ago. And where it comes from is a Ben Bernanke speech from 2002. And Ben Bernanke knew back then that eventually the Federal Reserve was going to run into the lower bound. This is when the Fed fund rates hit zero and the dropping of interest rates would no longer stimulate the economy. Typically, the Fed would want to drop interest rates around 5% or so in order to stimulate the economy, get people to take out mortgages and car loans and go on vacation, just basically go into debt further. But the dropping of interest rates was no longer going to be an effective tool for the Federal Reserve to use. But he said that's okay because they have other tools at their disposal, and one of them was going to be credible threats. Now, the way he described credible threats was with a little story, and he talked about a guy who invents a gold machine. And with this gold machine, he was able to produce as much gold at will with very little cost or energy. And once that information got out that this guy had this gold machine, the price of gold would plummet on the markets. So even before the guy even produces a single ounce of gold. So just the credible threat alone that this guy had this credit, that had this gold machine would be enough to move the markets. And I think we have just seen an example of that in the junk bond market. This morning I was reading an article from Wolf Street and Wolf Richter was talking about how the Federal Reserve had jawboned about buying these junk bonds and the junk bond market rallied and they still have yet to buy any junk bonds. Very interesting. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that article from, from Wolf Street and the Ben Bernanke speech. And also, I'm going to leave another link to, a, um, to an article about how John Williams has asked, basically, if there was enough liquidity with these primary de dealers to keep the markets functioning for the government debt. And I have, to, I have to question. He says, yeah, everything's fine. It's working out great. There's, you know, there's no problems here right now. And I have to ask the question. It's just like, well... If there's no problems with liquidity with these big banks, then why are you even asking? Right? I mean, if there's no problems, then you don't ask. It's not like he asks every day, but yet he comes out here and says, yeah, you know, just wanted to make sure that everything is cool. Glad everything's cool. No worries. Very interesting. Anyway, that's just kind of a little side one there. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.